David Smith here with yet one more flipped classroom math lesson. Three tips before we start. First, remember that you can slow down or speed up the playback to suit your needs. Second, you can pause the video at any point to catch up with your notes or jot down questions. Third, you can turn on the captions and read my words on the screen. Hello there. We're going to talk about limits today, but we're going to do it um, using Desmos, using our graphing utility. Um, and that's going to help us with uh, estimating limits uh, using tables and complicated functions and saves you a little bit of time in terms of calculating those values that you might need um, in order to find a limit that you can't uh, find directly. So I'm going to go ahead and share a Desmos screen and we'll get started. Okay, so here I am in Desmos. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to type in the function that we're going to explore with this little activity. Um, f of x equals, and this is sort of a complicated one, uh, we're going to do x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. And we're going to put this all over x minus 1. x minus 1. So check it out. You can see that this ends up making a parabola. And um, now take a second and guess. Um, what is the, what am I going to look for in terms of the limit? Um, this is a complicated one, so um, think about the value of x that I might want to explore um, a limit for. Take a look at that function. Okay, you noticed that the bottom becomes undefined when x is 1. You got that right. We can't directly plug 1 into this equation to find the limit. So as x approaches 1, we can't do this limit. We can't do it directly. So we're going to do this um, using a table. But first, I want to show you a little trick um, in terms of what the graph will show us. So here's the problem. right? If I plug one in, the, the function becomes undefined. So let's take a look at this graph. And I want to show you something that there's a limitation with Desmos. You'll see this point here. This is the point 1, 2. But we don't get two out of this function when we plug in one. We don't get anything, so it's undefined. Now, Desmos is not showing us this. And I spent a little time this morning on the help for Desmos, and they said they don't do this. So if you graph this function on a graphing calculator, you should see an open circle right at the point one, two. So we can make this graph show that, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna put in the point one comma two, Notice how that put the point on our function. Now I can come over here. I'm over to the left of the one, two, where I entered it. And if I hold that button down, what I can do is I can come over here and pick the open circle. So now our function is correctly, just being, it's graphed correctly there. I can zoom back out and you can see that there's an open circle right at two, one. So let's talk about what that means. This function is discontinuous. And so that is that means that it doesn't exist there. There's, a, there's no point there. So the function doesn't have a smooth line that goes through the point 2, 1. Some functions are continuous, some are not. This one is called discontinuous for this exact reason. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a table of values and use that table to confirm what we're seeing here. And before we do that, let's let's talk about that. Um, as x approaches 1, what is the limit of f of x? Makes sense that it's 2. We're getting close to 1. On the graph here, you can see that um, we're fine with all the points that lead right up to 2, 1, and then we're undefined. So the graph is showing us that that line would cross at y equals 2. So that's a good guess right now that the limit of this function as x approaches 1 is 2. Now let's use a table to show that. So what I'm going to do is come up here under the add item. I can pick a table. Now, I don't want to type this function in again. So I'm just going to copy it here. And then I can come up to my graph and I can paste it right there. Now, I get an error right away. And the reason for that is that here's my table. X1 is my X value. I need to make X1 over here. So I'm just positioning my cursor in the right place and typing a 1. And that's giving me an x1. And now you notice 
that this little symbol here looks like a purple bowling ball um, is it's not the exclamation point indicating an error. Now I have the correct function. Now what I'm going to do is, well, let's just type in one and see what we get. Presto, one says undefined. So we know that. So now let's approach one first from the left. So here's point 0.9, value of the function is 1.81. Let's try 0.99, oh, 1.9801. And just for grins, let's do 0.999. So we can see pretty clearly that that function is approaching one, but we're not quite there yet. We need to approach our value, our one, uh, from the right side. And forgive me, I misspoke, we are approaching two, right? We went from 1.81 to 1.98 to 1.99. So we're getting really close to two as X gets really close to one. But we need to approach it from the right side as well. So let's try 1.1 and we have 2.21 as our Y value. Let's try 1.01. Now we're at 2.02. Try one more, 1.001. You can see that now our Y value is 2.002. So getting closer and closer to two. So this table of values is now pretty much confirming to us that indeed the limit of this as X approaches one is two. Now what I'm gonna do is graph, uh, zoom in on our graph here and you can see the points that I added are now on this line and they're approaching and see there's our value at one, two, where, we're, where we are um, discontinuous, where the function's undefined. Um, but you can see that these points that I've added in my table here are getting closer and closer to that point. So this is your confirmation now that the limit of f of x as x approaches one is two. Okay, just to summarize, I wanna show what we just did in limit notation, okay? Now on your homework, you probably might wanna jot down some of that table or you could dump a screenshot in there if you want. Um, but here's how we write that. The limit as x approaches one of x cubed minus x squared plus x minus one over x minus one equals two. So that would be your expression of your answer, okay? So um, do your best, play around. Not all the functions are the same. Some are more complicated in homework. Um, use Desmos as best you can. Um, if you need to do a manual calculation here and there just to confirm something, do that. And uh, we'll see you in class next. Now that you've watched the video, jot down some notes or questions for our next class. You can also re-watch the portions of the video that you didn't understand so well the first time. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, and if you'd like to help me grow my YouTube channel, please click subscribe.